So having proper levels of hydration is one of the key elements to having super healthy, clear, smooth skin and wonderful overall health. There is a ton of conflicting information out there on the internet. Some people say drink a gallon a day. Some people say that's way too much. You hear all the time that you should have eight glasses of water a day. Men should have four liters a day. Other people say that women should have three liters a day. There's a lot of information. It can be very overwhelming and very confusing. Does fruit with all of its water, like watermelon, count as hydration? Does fruit juice and things like sports drinks count as hydration? In today's video, I'm gonna give you guys seven things that are secretly dehydrating you and holding you back from having healthy skin and overall amazing health. Make sure to stick around to the end because I'm gonna give you guys a few tips and tricks on how to easily stay hydrated every single day. What's up my friends, welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. Hey, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the content. Leave all of your questions and comments down below. Remember to subscribe, remember to share, and hit that notification bell. Gracias. Okay, so this big, juicy, delicious retro RV in the back has nothing to do with the video. Okay, number one, if you're feeling thirsty, you've already lost. The feeling of thirst is a sign of dehydration. In fact, it's actually a sign of chronic dehydration. When you are properly hydrated, your body doesn't ever really have that strong desire to pound down water. Make sure that you're staying hydrated by drinking plenty of fluids before you hit that place of being really thirsty. Number two, you can't stop peeing. You are peeing all the time, which means your electrolyte levels are completely out of whack. The body needs salt, potassium, and magnesium. When we don't have the proper balance of those electrolytes, our body does not utilize and hold on to water. One of the main symptoms is constant pissing, peeing, peeing, peeing. One time at Burning Man, I was peeing literally every 25 minutes. I thought I was dying. I thought something was wrong with me. One of my friends said, hey, have some beef jerky. All you need is a little bit of salt, potassium, and magnesium, and your electrolyte levels will be perfect. I did that. What do you know? I felt great. I was hydrated, and I stopped peeing. Uh, number three, coffee and caffeine. When you overdo coffee and when you overdo caffeine it absolutely saps the hydration out of your body because it does many things one it messes with your electrolyte levels two it messes with the digestion and the hormonal function of the liver of the thyroid messes with the kidneys a little bit your filtration organs and your hormones need a lot of hydration when they are out of balance when they are struggling when they are not doing well from having too much caffeine, they pull all the water out of your system, dehydrating you like crazy. This one's for the girl. So during your menstrual cycle, due to the crazy hormonal stuff that's going on inside of you, the body does need a lot of extra hydration. If you're drinking the normal amount of water during your menstrual cycle, you will be dehydrated. So make sure you're drinking extra water and extra fluids during that time of the month. Medications, supplements, and especially prescription drugs. They cause the body to really dry out. Again, they affect all of the filtration organs, they affect the lymphatic system, they affect the hormonal system, and they affect the body's full-on pathology. So when you take a supplement, or when you take a powerful herb, or when you take a prescription drugs, you will need extra hydration. And number six, you might be pregnant if you're a woman. If you're feeling thirsty all of the time, you might be drinking for two people. When that little baby is growing inside of you, yes indeed, your body needs a ton of extra hydration to grow that little baby. The little baby needs to be hydrated and you need to be hydrated. So real quickly, let me go over three super easy ways to keep yourself from being dehydrated. Number one, eat more 
hydrating foods like juicy fruits, watermelon, oranges, things like that. Even green juices, they are filled with hydration and electrolytes that keep you hydrated. Number two, super simple, measure your intake. Make sure you have figured out for you as an individual, because there is some differentiation between each person, how much water you need on a daily basis. Fill up a jug that has a measuring device on it and make sure you drink all of the water. And number three, use your morning time effectively for hydrating your body. I like to take in turmeric lemonade, which I have a recipe video for every single morning from around five o'clock when I wake up till sometimes almost one o'clock in the afternoon, I am focusing on liquids and hydrating my body so that I have proper levels of fluids, H2O, liquids, hydration in my body, making myself feel optimized every single day. The mornings are for hydration, the late afternoons are for nutrition. So that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Leave all of your comments and questions down below. Remember, hydration is one of the key aspects to having proper health overall and for those of you who are looking to overcome skin disease hydration and staying super lubed up inside is going to be a key element of detoxification and just healing your body for those of you looking to get a hold of me to become one of my skin health clients there's a link in the description box for a free consultation for those of you who are looking for the three phases workbook the same link for the consultation will bring you to the website where you can buy the three phases workbook which is the step-by-step -step book for healing skin disease also down below you can find a link for skinessa which is the world's finest skin health focused probiotic i take it every day it's absolutely amazing last but not least you can find me on the instagram as stuart rob stewart in real life i'm just plain old rob stewart have a wonderful day guys i'll be back with many more videos really soon peace